Rick, you know, we have the Party Congress now wrapped up over in China. Looks like what sounds like a bit of an olive branch coming from President Xi Jinping saying, look, we need to work with the U.S. This coming ahead of a potential meeting. I mean, how what are we to make of it? Uh, it sounds very welcome, to tell you the truth. I mean, uh, U.S.-China relationship, uh, the U.S.-China relationship has been deteriorating. Uh, for one thing, we've had all this chatter about whether China may invade Taiwan, which they're, they're probably not going to do anytime soon, if ever, but there have been reasons to worry about that. There's been so-called saber rattling. Then you had this new move in Washington with these, uh, really, what are the strictest export controls ever on U.S. computer chip technology going into China, basically a ban on advanced computer chip technology, uh, U.S. technology going to China. So th this has been kind of, we have kind of a cold economic war developing here. Uh, and there have been some questions about whether she would do something to retaliate for those export controls. Now, he still may do that. Um, but to hear him say, oh, you know, we'll, we're going to find ways to get along here, I think that's encouraging. And if you're a, a big U.S. multinational that has operations in China, that's what you would like to hear. So. Um, you know, the two nations are, they do remain uh, economically interdependent. So if you've got at least one leader saying, let's work things out, that's good news. Yeah, I mean, better to keep the conversation going, as you point out, because we are looking at the number one in two economies in the world. Rick Newman, as always, thank you so much for that. Bye, guys.